Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Alex or Evo Cutie, whatever the fuck you care. This is like a super, super easy After Effects tutorial that I literally could not find anywhere on the internet. And I've done this before, but I haven't used After Effects in a long time. But I don't want to beat around the bush. This is how to convert a mask layer to a shape layer. Because across all of the forums I could find, I could find absolutely no one who just simply tells you how to do this. So it's really, really fucking easy. So let's say I have this arrow here. I'm just, like, it's just a regular arrow. I used it in a couple of my projects before and I want to create it to a 3D I want to I want to extrude it into a 3D like a 3D arrow you know like I've done this in a couple of my intros but I don't even remember how I did it so all it takes is simply go up here to layer auto trace apply to new layer and this is going to create a mask so you can hide this and then you want to open this to the mask of the layer you just created so that's this it's an adjustment layer that's why it's like this and you can't actually extrude this This is an adjustment layer you can only extrude shape layers so you take this and then you go layer new shape layer so now we have a new shape layer and I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this arrow okay cool so then you take this arrow mask and you open up again and you copy edit copy the mask path and you can go ahead and hide this so you know now we still have this mask now we open up the arrow layer and we go add path and then we go sorry not path oops add uh yeah it is path i'm stupid then you go to path and then you go edit paste then we have the exact same mask but it's on the shape layer now i got to this step very very easily but then no one really explains like this is as simple as copy pasting a mask but nobody really explains okay how do i make this into a layer because if you go to like 3d and you go to geometry there's no there's nothing there it's an empty layer so you can't extrude it so then all you have to do literally it's just no one has told me this i could not find it all you have to go is fill like you go add fill and then boom look you have like a nice little arrow it looks the exact same as my other one and then it's literally as simple as Go into 3D and make sure you're on Ray Trace 3D up here. If you're on, um, sorry, it loads a little bit here. If you're on Classic 3D, this might not work properly. But if you're on Re uh, Ray Trace 3D, you go to Geometry Options and you go to Extrude a little bit. And then it's literally as simple as that. Then if I just uh, rotate on the Y axis, boom, we have a 3D fucking arrow. I hope this was short, sweet, and told you guys what you needed to know. Um, I think it might have froze a little bit during this lag, but as you can see, it's as simple as that. Boom. 3D arrow. Not that difficult, and absolutely, I could not find anywhere on the fucking internet that explains how to do that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was informative, and uh, best of luck making your cool-ass intros. Peace out.